Typically, an NBA team has one to two star players, and in rare cases, three. But the majority of the team is made up of role players, non-stars that fill a specific role, whether that's on offense, on defense, or both. Jeff Green, one of the greatest in-game dunkers of all time, and I say that because he wasn't afraid to put anybody on a poster. He's been around for a long time. Guys just don't walk into playing 15 seasons in the NBA. Let's take a look at his basketball journey. Jeff Green, born in Chevrolet, Maryland, hometown Hyattsville, Maryland. As a senior at Northwestern, he averaged 19 points, 11 rebounds, led the Wildcats to a Maryland 4A title. It was named first team all met. Now, Jeff wanted to play his college ball at the University of Maryland, but this is how things turned out. In BasketballNews.com's article examining Maryland's failure to recruit local talent written by Eton Thomas, Jeff says this about his recruitment process. In regards to not going to Maryland, Jeff said, I would like to place the blame on Gary Williams. They gave their last scholarship away. I wanted to go there. Anybody who is from Maryland who's a baller, you fear the turtle. That's the first college you know. They wanted me to go prep, but I didn't want to go prep. So Georgetown was recruiting me, and I was like, I'm going to Georgetown. That was the only visit I took. So in my mind, I wanted to make Georgetown the best area of school during the years I'm there because Maryland didn't recruit me. And helping turn around Georgetown's program is exactly what Jeff did. As a true freshman, Jeff started every game, led the team in rebounds, assists, and blocks, was the team's second leading scorer, and was named Big East Rookie of the Year along with UConn's Rudy Gay. As a junior, Jeff had his best season yet. He was named Big East Player of the Year. Georgetown won the Big East in the regular season as well as the conference tournament, and Jeff was named tournament MVP. The Hoyas went into the NCAA tournament as a two seed. In the first two rounds, they defeated Belmont and Boston College. In their Sweet 16 matchup against Vanderbilt, Jeff scored a controversial game-winning basket, and the Hoyas punched their ticket to the Final Four after defeating UNC in the Elite Eight, the team's first Final Four appearance since 1985. But the Hoyas would go on to lose to Ohio State, and Jeff decided to forego his senior season and enter his name into the NBA draft. Here's one Scott Scouting report on the 6'8 forward, some of the strengths, versatile forward, good vision and passing ability, athletic, solid ball handler, and explosive leaper, some of the weaknesses, inconsistent shooting, shot range, and foot speed. In the 2007 NBA draft, Jeff was selected with the fifth overall pick by the Boston Celtics, but his draft rights would be traded to the Seattle Supersonics as he was a part of that Ray Island deal. Now Jeff, his friend and fellow PG County native Kevin Durant would be the first two young pieces in the team's rebuilding process. As a rookie, Jeff averaged 11 points, 5 rebounds, and was named to the all-rookie first team. In Jeff's third year, OKC's rebuild was shown to be a success. Led by their young nucleus of Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, Jeff Green, and James Harden. Jeff was the team's third leading scorer. OKC finished eighth in the West, but would lose in the first round of the playoffs against the number one seeded Lakers. The following season, OKC felt that they needed more of a defensive presence in the interior, so they decided to trade Jeff Green and Chris Ditch to the Boston Celtics in exchange for Kendrick Perkins and Nate Robinson. And in a game against the Wizards that year, Jeff dropped 20 points and grabbed 15 boards. In 2011, after the NBA lockout concluded, Jeff signed a contract with the Celtics, but it was voided. When he went in for the routine physical exam, the doctor detected an aortic aneurysm. Jeff then underwent open heart surgery that saved his life, and he would miss the entire 2011-12 season. But fortunately, Jeff would bounce back. He played in 81 of 82 games the following season, scored a career-high 43 points against the Miami Heat, and led the Celtics in scoring in the first round of the playoffs against the Knicks. After a few years in Boston, Jeff was acquired by the Memphis Grizzlies, a team that made it to the Western Conference Finals two years prior and was hoping Jeff was the missing piece that would propel them back to the top of the West. By then, Jeff had established himself as a scoring wing that could give you 12 to 15 points a night. The Grizz ended up making it to the second round of the playoffs but were defeated by the soon-to-be NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. Jeff's next two stops would be with the Clippers and then the Magic. In July of 2017, Jeff signed with the Cleveland Cavs. Jeff averaged about 11 points that year, mainly coming off the bench. The Cavs finished fourth in the East and ended up winning the Eastern Conference, but was defeated by the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. Jeff's next stops would be with his hometown Wizards, Utah Jazz, Houston Rockets, where he reunited with his former OKC teammates James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Tabo Cephalosha. In 2020, Jeff signed with the Brooklyn Nets, 
reunited with former teammate Kevin Durant and once again with James Harden. Now this Nets team had high expectations for their big three. Jeff averaged 11 points for the team that year but really caught on towards the end of the season. The Nets finished second in the East and ended up facing off against the Bucks in the Eastern Conference semis. In a game five win over the Bucks, Jeff went off for 27 points but unfortunately for the Nets the injury bug hit them at the wrong time and the Bucks won in seven in a very competitive series. The following season Jeff signed with the Denver Nuggets. A starter for the majority of the season he averaged about 10 points a game this season Jeff's role changed as he now came off the bench the Nuggets finished with the best record in the West this postseason run in year 15 Jeff Green was part of the team's eight-man rotation as the Nuggets defeated the T-Wolves Suns Lakers and the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals the franchise captured its first NBA title definitely a roller coaster journey for Jeff Green but was still able to complete the ultimate goal